you guys can reach out to us, email us if you have a question. Let's open up the mailbag right now. Bobby's Mailbag. Hey, Bobby Bones. My name is Wendy. I'm a longtime fan of the show. So I'm self-isolating alone. I've had the same Amazon delivery guy like seven times in the last three weeks. He's basically the best part of my day. He's cute. I feel like he's keeping me alive with food and other things. And he's keeping me occupied. I think I've developed a big crush on my Amazon guy. When I tell my friends how I feel about him, they say it's just the isolation making me crazy. Wonder what you guys think. Is quarantine making me feel things I normally wouldn't feel? That being said, would it be weird if I asked for his number? Maybe sometime go on a date. Thanks, Wendy. There's the email. Amy, <laughs> what do you I, say to Wendy? Well, I don't think it's impossible for you to start liking someone that you see more and more. I, I don't I don't think that that's weird. I mean, picture it, it not in quarantine and you work in an office and you have the same UPS okay, guy this is that Amy's shows story, up every by the day. way. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, it is. Stop. Amy's bringing up a real life story. No. Yes, you are. Not, and she okay, does I was she thinking, didn't know I mean, she was doing it. Go I ahead. I didn't, but I was thinking of an example, but the roles were switched. I worked at office, the UPS guy came in a lot, then he asked me out. So that's what happened there. But I think, and I gave it a go. We went and ate, and then that lunch, I realized because it was not for me. But you, you should try to get his number or do whatever. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's weird at all. I don't. I don't know what your taste is, but your friends know better. But I think there could be something there. I think one, the isolation is causing you to look for anything. But I think two, ask him out. Who cares? If any of us were locked up and we had any sort of contact with anyone, we'd probably amplify how good that made us feel. But it doesn't matter. If you're single and he's single, maybe you leave a little note out there, a little basket, like, thanks for the package. Would you mind leaving your number next time? Be funny with it. I have no problem with you asking out your Amazon guy. What are you going to say, Amy? Uh, I, yeah, I guess they can't go out, but what do they do? Do they start just talking on the phone and sure, then have... Sure, text. Then maybe set up a online date or virtual what are you i know, don't even like think a... you have to get there yet i think you can exchange okay. phone numbers and just text for a while and and see if you hit it off there i mean i've jumped really far ahead but it'll be so cool if y'all end up getting married and have kids and <laughs> your kids are like mom dad how'd y'all meet and they say well the coronavirus was happening and i was stuck at home and your dad was my delivery guy and then i gave him my number it's a cute story speaking of cute stories why didn't you feel the ups guy when you guys went out what happened there I, we just, it, our conversation was really difficult. We didn't, we weren't clicking, which got awkward because we did go out. And then the next day I had flowers on my desk that he had delivered. Nice. And then, and then he stayed our UPS guy for a while and I would run to the back and he would come oh. up. <laughs> I, was, I was not very mature. This was, I was 20. It was the job I had before radio. So I was, you know, early 20s. And I would see the big brown truck pull up and I would run to the back. So, <laughs> and then eventually he's, he wasn't our UPS guy anymore. What do you wear, shorts or pants? Both. And everybody in my office would walk around after we went out and they all made fun of me and they'd be like, hey, Amy, what can the brown do for you? <laughs> well, and your last name is Brown. Well, it wasn't then. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. But, okay. Well, yeah. Wendy, they were like, I Amy, say. did you get a look at his package? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I've worked with a lot of friends, too. So it's kind of yeah. like y'all. They were just giving me like everything was a UPS joke for weeks. That's yeah. probably why it didn't work out. Um, Wendy, here's what we want to say. For different reasons, Amy and I say go for it. You only <laughs> live once anyway. Go for it. Who cares? Have fun. You know, there's probably not a lot you can do right now uh, that, that, that is fun. So ask him out. Yeah, talk to him through the door. Be like, hey, let's. you want to exchange numbers and, and text and then Zoom and, you know, virtual your little heart out. So we say yes to it, Wendy. Go for it. All right, close the mailbag up, Raymond. And that was Bobby's Mailbag. Yes, 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 yes.